Hello, I'm Adam Michelson, Product Manager in Google Cloud. In this video, we will explore new networking capabilities for generative AI inference applications. First, we recognize that Gen AI applications do not behave like traditional web applications. While both have a common networking goal to reliably deliver traffic to the closest healthy backends with available capacity, they also have fundamental differences. Web applications usually have small requests, returning in milliseconds while Gen AI application requests process in highly variable response times, ranging from milliseconds to minutes. These differences mean that Gen AI applications require specialized traffic routing to efficiently process requests and ultimately deliver a great experience for end users. Now let me show how our networking capabilities help optimize Gen AI applications. First off, we created the model as a service endpoint solution. In many organizations, models are presented as services to be consumed by application development teams. The model as a service endpoint solution defines an access mechanism using Private Service Connect, allowing individual development teams to integrate Gen AI models into their applications. Additionally, we have created service extensions. Service extensions allow SaaS solutions or custom code to integrate directly into the networking data processing path. For example, you may create custom routing to specific models based on information and individual requests, or you may block requests that you do not want your LLMs to process. And finally, our cloud load balancers have introduced utilization based on custom metrics. This capability allows application level custom metrics to be reported to cloud load balancers in response headers using the open request cost aggregation or ORCA standard. These custom metrics then influence traffic routing and backend scaling. For example, in Gen AI applications, often a queue is used to hold requests waiting to be processed. In order to provide an end user optimal experience, Gen AI applications attempt to keep their queue depths as shallow as possible. With cloud load balancing utilization based on custom metrics, we can use queue depth as a custom metric to distribute load evenly. Let's walk through a demo of how using custom metrics to distribute requests leads to an optimal Gen AI experience for users. Here we see the Cloud Load Balancer configuration page where you may choose different load balancing modes. We see the traditional load balancer traffic distribution algorithms of utilization and rate-based balancing. These algorithms work well for most web applications where processing times are relatively uniform but they're not as effective for Gen AI inference platforms where request processing times are highly variable. We'll use the rate-based load balancing in this example and see the impact on Gen AI inference applications. Here's a simulation of prompt requests being sent to four individual backends, each running a queue and a Gen AI inference model to process the requests. You can also see the P95 response time which represents how long a portion of our end users need to wait to get their requests processed. Rate-based load balancing is distributing requests evenly amongst the backends, but because the response times for Gen AI prompts vary widely, some taking seconds to respond, you can see the queue depths are uneven and backing up. This is causing response times to spike, resulting in end users waiting a long time to get their response from their Gen AI prompts. To resolve this issue with long wait times and uneven distribution of queue depths, we'll use the upcoming load balancer utilization based on custom metrics capability. In this case, we will distribute traffic using the queue depth, which the Gen AI inference application will report back to our cloud load balancers. Then we'll use this metric to distribute traffic, which should result in the application queues having about the equal number of requests waiting to be processed. Now we see that inference traffic requests are being balanced to backends based on the Gen AI application's reported queue depth. This keeps the request queues about equal, resulting in total response times that are more stable, giving our end users a far better overall Gen AI experience. Thank you for watching today's video. We hope you find these new networking capabilities helpful when building your own Gen AI applications.